tell you about the town. We bought a car off a dead man for $50. My daddy said, but I'm generally called this man was dead face down at his kitchen table over the middle. And my old man couldn't resist the deal on a rusted hot automobile. His two sons shared this affliction. Forty, fifty, or a hundred dollars, the man and sons all go to archaeology scholars would rid you of your unwanted pieces of yard. Exactly recollect how we come to find this particular wreck. We loaded up his old truck for an adventure. We met the old lady on the scene, but we exchanged politeness and pleasantries and backed up into the driveway to start the loop. And maybe I was just standing idle, but I got to go inside and get the title, and that's when I ran into the heart. She said, baby, do you want something to eat? But my mind had to fight to hold on my feet to keep from running away from what I see in that kitchen table. Pushed up at the table in his wheelchair, the old man didn't move so much as a hair, and I thought, well, you know, well, maybe he's just sleeping. Now, friends, you ask, how did I know he was dead? Because the cat ran right across his head, face down and what looked to be a bowl of Cheerios. Sells the hell on out of here. My daddy left with my brother Hal, but I didn't find it funny how I was the only one inside of that house with that dead man. This very day, me and Pop disagree as to the sad tales for asking me how we bought a car off a dead man. Jimmy Gray? <laughs> <laughs>